Hi, this is Sean D'Souza, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation Podcast. This podcast isn't some magic trick about how to work less. Instead, it's about how to really enjoy the work that you do and to enjoy your vacation time. Hi, I'm Sean, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation. You know, the funny thing about New Zealanders is that we are three hours from anywhere. Even the closest places like Fiji or Australia are three hours away and you have to cross an ocean. Well, in this case, many years ago, we didn't cross any ocean. We just went to the South Island. Now this is the South Island of New Zealand, and if you're thinking that sounds like a really dumb name, it is because they have the North Island and the South Island as if people can't find their way around. Anyway, so we are going to the South Island and we go to Nelson and there is this absolutely stunning park there called the Abel Tasman Park. This is not the park with the swings and stuff. This is just endless amounts of coastline beautiful New Zealand scenery. I mean, there is fascinating New Zealand scenery all around in New Zealand, but the Abel Tasman Park was probably one of the best places that I have been to in all the years of travel. Just one of them, but still, it's way up there. Now to get to the Abel Tasman Park, you have only a limited people that can get through, and so they have kind of a kind of tour operator, and one of them is the Wilson Tours. We decided to go on the Wilson Tours, and we decided it purely on the basis of testimonials. So I went on the website, I looked at the testimonials, and then we put our money down and we went on the trip. And we had a glorious trip. I'm not really sure why we haven't gone back, but we should. But this is not about the Abel Tasman, though you should go to the Abel Tasman at some point in your life. This is about testimonials. I get these recurring questions about testimonials, and there are not three, but four recurring questions. So let me tackle four of those questions. And you might not have figured it out, but this is an in-between episode. It's one of those where I'm not telling all these stories, we're just getting to the point, and we're done with it in a short while. So the first question about testimonials is, how do I get my uniqueness? And you might be thinking, what has uniqueness got to do with testimonials? But often, clients, when you have clients, you can get your testimonials and Clients tend to say something consistently. So for instance, with the article writing course, that's what they said consistently. They said it was extremely tough. It was very gratifying to get to the end of the course to be able to write. But the thing that they consistently said was that it was tough. And you wouldn't think that that would be a uniqueness, but it became the toughest writing course in the world. And right now it sells so quickly specifically because of that uniqueness. And we know this to be true because before we had that uniqueness in place, we used to try to sell the very same article writing course and it used to take longer time. It used to still fill up. In fact, we'd sometimes have two batches of them, but it would take an endless amount of time and marketing and blah, blah, blah. And then we changed that uniqueness, which came from the testimonial. So one of the things that I recommend you often do is if you've got testimonials then go and look at them and look at is there a recurring thread here are people saying almost the same thing and you will find that people tend to say the same thing and, and there is some kind of recurring thread now if you package that up nicely and when I say package, what I mean is when you're stating a uniqueness, you always go three parts. The first part is what does the competition do? 
and then what do we do and then finally what does this mean for you so it's like what we have with the psychotactics website which is or psychotactics courses and what we have there is that the competition will give you money back guarantee but they will not guarantee skill and in our courses in our workshops we do not give a money back guarantee but we guarantee the skill and what this means is that you don't have to deal with endless amounts of information and now you have a specific skill the moment you walk out of a workshop the moment you finish a course you have it it's your superpower now that is a uniqueness and that comes from possibly a testimonial now i can't remember where that specifically came from but a lot of clients will go oh you know after i could finish this course i got a skill i didn't get more information if you find that thread and usually there is a thread if you have 5 6 7 8 testimonials then you're able to take that and make it a uniqueness provided you follow that three part structure which is what does the competition do what do we do and then how it helps you so this is kind of the first question that recurs which is how do i get my uniqueness and the strangest place to look for it is in the testimonials but that's one of the places where you can find your uniqueness and one of the places that you should look for so that ends question one let's go to question two Question two comes from Martin, and Martin is a chiropractor in Australia. And you know, there are no laws against any internet marketer saying that you can make a million dollars or two million dollars or get a helicopter or whatever. But the moment you're a chiropractor, the moment you're a lawyer or whatever, there are all these laws in place. And you can't have testimonials, and you can't do this, and you can't do that. And so clients are frustrated because they read the brain on it and they go, this whole chapter is about testimonials. And I go, yes. And they go, but I can't do this testimonial stuff. I'm not allowed by law. You're not allowed by law to have testimonials of specific people. And no, you can't put photographs. And no, you can't put their names. And no, you can't put where they come from. And this sounds pretty dramatic for you because now you can't use the power of testimonials. But you can use case studies. So what is in a case study is a description of what happened, what was the before, what was the after. You strip it of all the names, but you keep the technical jargon in it. So if you're in the medical profession, you can write a case study, and, and there are hundreds and thousands of case studies that have no name because they have to be anonymous. But it's a case study. It tells you the before, it tells you the during, it tells you the after. And it keeps in all the technical jargon. So if you're in the medical industry, if say you've got a problem and you want that solution, you're reading through all that stuff. And the, me the jargon, that medical stuff that's in between, that tells you that the person knows what they're talking about. So even as a chiropractor, even as a lawyer, when the client is reading your stuff, they know that you know. And it's precisely because of the structure, which is the before, the during, and the after. And you don't have to be bombastic about it. You don't have to promise helicopters. You just have to be able to give that sequence and to make sure that you have the terminology in it. Because the terminology is what gives it away that you're the expert. And once you have that, there you go. Testimonials work. They're just called case studies. That's all. The third question came from my friend Els Jacobs, who's from the Netherlands. And she has a very peculiar problem, which we also had. If you come to any of our workshops or you do any of the courses or you're in 5000 BC, you'll notice that there is a kind of balance. There are men and women. And you would think this was always the case. It wasn't always the case. In fact, when the internet was 
just starting to kick off, which is around 2001, 2002, 2003, most of the people online were men. And, well, if most of the people online were men, that's what's going to show up, right, at your workshop, at your courses in, in, in 5000 BC. And once they take over, you know how it is. It's just like there are more and more and more men, and it becomes imbalanced. We had to reverse this balance, and this was the question that Els has. She has the opposite problem. Most of the people that come to her workshop are women. And so on Messenger, and we talk every day on Messenger, she asks me, well, how can I get more men to the workshop? How can I get more men to the courses? And it's that simple. It is The, the answer lies in testimonials. So if you want to get more men, or instead you want to get more women, what you're going to do is you're going to put more testimonials of men to get more men <laughs> and more testimonials of women to get more women. And if you look at the psychodactic sales pages, you will notice that in most cases that there is a, a man's photograph with the testimonial and then it's followed by a woman and then a man and then a woman. And, and usually if we want people to show up from, say, Belgium, then of course you put in most of your testimonials from Belgium and then you get more people coming in from Belgium. And so effectively what I'm saying is the testimonials are going to influence the people that read your sales page or they read your website. And if you're going to put in either the profession, you want all the dentists to show up, well, put in the title as dentist, 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 and then you don't get chiropractors kind of signing up. And the same principle applies for men and women. So what we do is we put in the photograph of the person and, and always these are people that we like. We never put in photographs of people that we don't like. In fact, we don't have that many clients, if we do, that we don't like. But then we have the name, the place that they come from, often their, their profession, and then you can see that it's a male and a female. So to answer that specific question, change your photographs. Put in more photographs of men, and more men will show up to your courses and your workshops. Now, it might not happen overnight, but it will happen. Because that's what testimonials are. Testimonials are like a mirror. People look at your website, and they're looking at a mirror. And when they look at it, and they see only men, then a woman might be intimidated by that prospect and then not show up. But if you see a mix of it, then it changes things. So there you go. And this takes us to the last question, which was by Diana. And Diana is a member of 5000 BC, and she asked this very interesting question, which I'd not dealt with before which is, should I put video testimonials higher up? Now, if you go to our website as well on Psychotactics, you'll find that a lot of the video testimonials tend to be lower down, except on the cartooning page. So if you go to the Da Vinci cartooning page, what you find is that a video testimonial comes in right after the problem. So if you've been following the sequence of the brain audit, you'll know that the problem needs to come at the top, uh, the consequences need to follow, and then you have to go to the solution. This doesn't quite go to the solution. It kind of puts a testimonial and it says, what if you can't draw a straight line? So two things here. The first thing is that it is answering an objection, which is very predominant in this case. When I tell people, you can draw a cartoon really well in six months, they usually say, but I can't even draw a straight line. So we need to kill that objection very quickly. And when we did this workshop on the brain audit in Washington, D.C., uh, Wiz Withers, who was one of the earliest ones to do the cartooning course, he stood up and he said, you know, I want to talk about my experience with the cartooning course because it completely changed his life. And this is the experience of most people. They go, you know, once I could draw cartoons, it was something that I could never, never, never dream. It was totally out of left field.
And once I could do that, it kind of changed my whole perspective on what else I could do in life. But anyway, Wiz stands up and he talks about how he couldn't draw a straight line. And that was an objection. And so we took that video and we put it up in front of everything else. And if you go to psychotactics.com slash D-A-V-I-N-C-I, which is Da Vinci, you will see how that video comes up before everything else. And I didn't think about it until last night when I was reading Diana's question. But I think that an objection, if it is predominant, needs to be brought up pretty quickly. Now, that was the first thing. And the second thing was even more interesting because I found that we don't have this on most of our videos, but that video, the Wiz Withers video, it has a, what you would call like a headline. It says, but what if you can't draw a straight line? And it has a question mark, and the video is under that. So this got me thinking, wait a second, we should do this for all the videos. It's not always clear when you post your video on YouTube what that video is about. Now, you might put the title and it might be there, but why not spend, and this, this applies to us as well, why not spend that two extra minutes putting in that point, that headline, whatever that video is covering, whatever that objection it's covering, you know, and, and just above the video. Because that then kind of nudges the person who has that objection to click on it. So I was giving Diana advice and I got my own advice back at me. Uh, I learned a couple of things. The first was that the video can come up pretty early and we haven't been doing that. And the second is that um, you, you can put the, the, the headline above and we haven't been doing that as well. We did it by fluke and it worked really well and it works really well. So there you go. Those are the four things, four questions. The first one was from Amy. So just to summarize, the first one was from Amy. And it's like, how do I get my uniqueness? And the answer is go and look at your testimonials. The second one was from Martin, who was the chiropractor. And it was, how do I get the testimonials across? And the answer is case studies. Case studies with specific terminology, which enables me to know also the before, the during and the after. That makes it more reliable. The third was from Els Jacobs. And it was like, how do I get more men into the workshop? Or in your question might be how to get more women into the workshop. Whatever it is, you might want to get more chiropractors in the workshop. Whatever it is, your website has to reflect that. And it's there in the testimonials. And finally, we had Diana who asked about the video testimonials and two things there. First is, if you can, and if you have a big objection, bring up that video testimonial to the top. And the second thing is, have a headline for it. Spend those two extra minutes and you can see this example on psychotactics.com slash Da Vinci. And that brings us to the end of this in-between podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it. And let's find out what's happening in Psychotactics Land. So what's happening in Psychotactics Land is the 20th of July, that's when we're releasing the home study version of Info Products. You have to be on the waiting list, otherwise you don't get a notification. You also have to have an alarm clock. It surprises me, well, it doesn't completely surprise me because marketing is everywhere, but people will come in a week later and say, oh, I missed it. Or even a day later and say, I didn't get this product and do you think I can get it? And the answer is always no, because what we do is create scarcity. We create urgency. And that's how you should sell any product. If you want to sell something and want to sell it consistently, then you have to create a certain amount of urgency and scarcity. And that's what we do with all our products, all our courses, everything that we sell. Well, not all, but many of them. So info products, that's the 28th of July. You have to go there, sign up for the waiting list. Uniqueness is on the 23rd of September. You might want to write this down if you're not walking or driving. And then on the 13th of October, that's the article writing course. So let's take the 
very next date, which is the Info Products course, home study. These are all home studies, 28th of July. But here's the thing. If you liked this testimonial thing, then there is this book called The Secret Life of Testimonials, and it's on the Psychotactics website. So go and have a look at The Secret Life of Testimonials, because I've just given you four points, and they're all fascinating. And here is the book, which has extreme detail into testimonials. And you wouldn't think that testimonials requires a book. I mean, what's there to testimonials? What, what, what depth can you go into testimonials? Well, you'll be surprised. So have a look and when you're done, you send me a note telling me how much you liked the book and more importantly, how you used it. And I might have a little gift for you. So that's me, Sean D'Souza, saying bye for now. Bye-bye. Still listening. I went to the start of this episode and I realized that I said we have to cross an ocean to get to Australia. And I'm sure that people will come back and go, you know, that's just a sea. That's the Tasman Sea. So I wasn't specifically meaning ocean. I was referring to a body of water. But apologies, because I should know better. Anyway, I'll say bye for now. Bye-bye.